Hello, this is Tov from Trifold Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can get stop motion animation inside of Blender the easy way. And that's by using a free add-on called the uh, Stop Mo add-on, which is right here. It's been created by Southern Shorty, or Shorty, I guess that's how I pronounce that. But it's free. Uh, he has a button here that uh, says if you want to donate to the author, it's $5 which will be helpful for him if you were to do donate towards um, his uh, page there. That would help him out a lot. But if you want to try it for free, just click on the free option, which is zero free dollars, and click on purchase. And I'll leave a link of that below the uh, this video so you can download yourself and try it out. But it's uh, a pretty nice add-on. I'm using three, Blender 3.4. I think it's, uh, let me see what the range is. I guess for 3.5, but it still works pretty great in 3.4. And once you've uh, downloaded it onto your system to install it in Blender, still the same thing. Still, it's the same process. Click on Edit, Preferences, Install, Navigate where you've installed it. Click on Install Add On. I've already done that myself. And then let's type in Stop to get uh, where the add on is. And let's put a check in the box and it activates it. And it's ready to go. And it's on the right hand side of your user interface in blender the toolbar here the tool sets and it's got not that many options but these are all the options that you need in blender to get that stop motion animation and if you're not familiar with stop motion watch a, a, a ken burn is it ken burn or the most recent one actually is not i don't think it's even ken burn but it's actually um the spider verse watch that that has a lot of that's the whole thing of stop motion where it looks like it's skipping a frame in terms of the movement of the characters. That's what this does. And it works really well. We're going to start this thing from scratch ourselves. Uh, we're going to go into the front view by pressing 1 on our keyboard. And I'm going to just put a simple armature in here by pressing Shift A. And I'm going to go to Armature and click on Single Bone. Press the on my keyboard and press Wireframe. And move, click on my move gizmo, left click on that, and left click and drag on the Z axis, which is the blue arrow, and drag down. Hold on your mouse over that and drag down. And scroll up in your mouse wheel, press tab with the armature selected, press tab, go to edit mode. And then click on the move gizmo again, and press E to extrude, and just drag up with the mouse. Make sure it's kind of parallel with the Z axis. Left click to confirm that. Tab again to get out of edit mode. Left click on our armature or actually on our cube there. And we're going to go back into solid view by clicking on this icon right there. I want to make this cube a little bit smoother. So we're going to go to our uh, toolbar here, modifier properties. Left click on that wrench. Add modifier. And let's go to scroll down to subdivision surface. Left click on that. And go back into edit mode because we want to make this, well, this is fine the way it is. We're going to add more subdivisions to it by clicking up the level here. Left click on that to make it more subdivided. And we're going to click on our arrow here and click on apply. And that applies it to our mesh here. And let's find the way it is. Now we're going to connect our armature to our sphere here. Left click on the armature. Hold down shift. Left click on our mesh. Let's press control P on our keyboard. And... That's not, that's not the right uh, steps. Left click on our mesh. Hold down shift, left click on the armature, control P. And that's what we want. We want to connect it with automatic weights. That's a lot easier. Left click on that. And now our armature is paired to our mesh. They want to add some movements to our sphere there, our mesh, our model. I'm going to left click and drag on the timeline there. And we're going to click on the armature and we're going to go into pose mode by clicking on this icon there. Not that one. There's a lot of options in Blender. But clicking on this icon and go to pose mode. Now we're in pose mode. Let's click on our armature again to activate that. When it's blue, you know it's activated. And we're going to click on record. And then we're going to animate our armature by pressing play. Now as we press play, let's... Um, Let's click on this rotation gizmo. Let's rotate our armature at the top. Press, press play and then R, then back and forth like that. 
And that is going to give us some animation to work with. Okay, so we're going to stop that, turn off our recording, go back to the beginning. And we have to probably minimize this because it didn't start from the beginning. But actually, we don't need to do that. Just press G on our keyboard and drag this back to the beginning to start. If we press play, now we have some movement to work with. Now you can see the movement is pretty smooth with our uh, model there. And we don't want smooth movement. We want to utilize the uh, stop motion aspects in this add-on. So what we can do there here is, is simple. It's very simple, very direct. We're going to just do deal with like the first two uh, aspects of it, the first two properties up here, our parameters, and then uh, these three. This is just like an introduction to the, the add-on. And we want to set the start frame, which is at zero. It says one, but we can start at zero too. That's fine. And we want to set the end frame. Now this ends at around, let's say 180. So let's left click on the end frame and type in 180, enter. And we want to have some kind of, kind of an extreme stop motion to uh, our movement here. So we're going to, the step amount, we're going to click on that and bump that up to four, enter. And let's minimize this iron frame to 182 just to keep it consistent. And then we're going to click on apply steps and watch what happens. Play. Now you see that it's, it's not as smooth as it, was, as it was before. This is what you call stop motion. It's really, you know, really uh, like, uh, you know, Spider-Man, the Spider-Verse kind of movement in it. If you want to really see it, go to the extreme, we can step up the amount, let's step it up to 8, enter, and press apply steps, and press play, now I can really see it, it's going to the 8th frame, just every 8th frame, that's what it's just registering, and that's the stop motion add-on, uh, if you click on remove steps, it's going to just remove the whole thing, I don't know why it does that, I guess that's just how it works, even if the uh, keyframes are not selected, let's press A on our keyboard. Is it going to do it? A, A it's not. Oh, there it is. I know it takes some time, some time. And let's click on remove steps. Okay, it's not going to remove. I think this removes every, if you click on a keyframe, it's going to remove that keyframe. Oh, it won't do it? Let me see. That's kind of weird. Sometimes, I don't know if it's because I'm using 3.4, but sometimes it removes all the keyframes at once. But as long as it works, that's fine. The real test is testing it on an armature that's not from Blender. So I've set up a scene here. Let me click on Open Recent, Stop Motion Add-on. Don't save that. And I've downloaded this uh, character from Mixamo, and I've rigged it in Mixamo. R Mixamo rigs it automatically. But let's see how it works on a, on an armature that is not uh, built in Blender. So I'm going to click on our armature there and pull out the stop motion add-on. And you don't have to select all the frame, all the keyframes here. Let's press A on our keyboard. A again doesn't really matter. For some reason, it's just stalling here. But let's uh, let's bump up. Let's see how it looks without the stop motion added to it. Let's press play. See the movement is quite smooth. Okay, let's stop that and let's bump it up to let's say eight again enter apply steps and play now it's it's uh, activated okay that's kind of weird it just did it for the first oh sorry about that that's my fault again I have to set the keyframes <laughs> that's the part i didn't do so the keyframes go to 240. That's why I stopped at 100, but it goes to 240. Let's left click in there, type in 240, enter, and apply steps again, and press play. Now it's going to go all the way to the end. There we go. So that's how the stop motion add-on works, and it works seamlessly, and it works great. So if you want to apply any kind of stop motion activity or movement or animation inside of Blender for any of your uh, characters, this is how to do it. It doesn't work on uh, objects. It works on, only on armatures. You have to apply it to the armature when the armature is in object mode. It doesn't work if the armature is in pose mode. 
What you can tell that is if you go to have your uh, armature selected, click on object mode, pose mode is blue. That means it's in pose mode. But once again, it's got to be orange, which means it's in object mode. And that's how you can apply the stop motion add-on into any armature inside of Blender. And that's today's Blender quick tip. And I hope it wasn't too much back and forth with it. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys have gained some uh, knowledge from this uh, tutorial. And once again, thank you guys who have subscribed in the past, those of you who are subscribing now, and those of you who are subscribing in the future. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios. Blender by using this free add-on called the Stop Mo add-on. And it's uh, been supplied by... Uh, I think his name is, what is his name? Son of a gun. Hey, 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 hey.